Okay, today we're going to talk about the proper way to power your CB radio in your car or vehicle. Uh, the power outlets in those vehicles are on a, on mine anyway, is on a, a, a 20 amp uh, fuse, but it's only 16 gauge wired. There's no way you're going to get that much power through there. Uh, and it's not going to have enough power to power your radio properly. So this is the way that you should do it. you got to run your positive and negative directly from your battery. So down here, I have when I'm running to the positive terminal, and then I have 14 gauge wire already in the car. And you can see I'm using these butt connectors on there, but I heat shrink them all. Uh, every time I use a butt connector on there, I heat shrink them. So you're going to run your positive and negative directly to your battery and then up into here. Now this is a Bosch, uh, normally open relay, 12 volt, good for 75 amps. And you can see the little wiring diagram on there. It says 86, 85, 87, and 30. And the power coming from the battery would be going to 30. And if you look down here, if you can see it, it says 30 right there. Uh, and all these are numbered, so that's not a problem. You know, you can just look at the diagram. So this is a normally open relay. So you hook your main power wire to right here to number 30. And then when it closes, it'll power your radio. In this case, I also have a problem with a lot of RF or noise coming into the radio while the car is running. So I'm also running this uh, noise filter in there. And this one, particular one is already pre-wired for your CB radio and it has a fuse on the negative and positive side but it doesn't come with the two amp fuses in it so you got to take the fuses out one's a 10 amp and the other one's a four I believe so you got to take those out and put your two amp fuses in there if your radio is pulling more than two amps then there's probably something wrong so the part number for this relay you can see it right there uh, it's a little expensive uh, it's uh, $33 but uh, so you take the power in from the battery power out to your uh, bandit here uh, and then you should be all set there now the other thing is is down here in the bottom there's two spade connectors you take the two wires off your auxiliary power on your dash uh, and it doesn't make any difference which one's which on this and cut them right off of that and then put these two spade terminals on there and then put them on the spade terminals on there and it again it doesn't make a difference which one's positive and negative on my car when you start it up it puts power to that and when you turn it off it puts power away or takes the power away so what will happen is when you start up your car it'll engage the relay putting power directly to your radio. And when you turn off your car, it takes the power away. So you don't have to turn your radio off and on or worry about it being off or on uh, while you're not using it. You know, if you just run it directly to your battery and don't put a relay or anything in there, you could just forget and leave the thing on for the next two days before you get back in your car and then your battery's dead. So this is the best way to do it. Uh, you know, get a relay, put it in there. Uh, this is really the only way that I could figure out how to do it. I, I burned up a radio already uh, in the car, hooking it directly to that uh, auxiliary power outlet because it was. I figured it was on a 20 amp fuse, it would be good, but the wire was just too small, it was starving it for electricity and burned it up. So this is the best way to do it. Uh, get everything you need. I just mounted it to a, a plastic lid off an electrical box I had and uh, for the most part, it's, it's pretty simplistic. So hopefully this uh, information is helpful and have a great day.